The Endangered Animal Project is a good reflection of how much you have improved your presentation skills. This is a quick review on how to make a good PowerPoint presentation. To begin a PowerPoint, go to the globe in the left hand corner, go to All Programs, and you're looking for the Microsoft Office products. And here is Microsoft PowerPoint. So you don't have to go through these steps all the time. You can right click right here and you can say send to the desktop. That way it'll be there the next time you want to use it. So now PowerPoint is on my desktop. So I'll open it up. So PowerPoint opens up into a new document and the first thing I like to do is choose my design. So you go to the design tab and there are lots of different choices here. You can click on them to see which one you like. There's more by just clicking on the arrow. So let's say I want this blue one. And the first thing I want to do is look at my graphic organizer and I find out what I need to put on slide one. So there are a couple of different layouts that you can choose for your slides. And that is from the home tab. And here if you go to new slide, there's all different choices you can make. I generally uh, like either title and content or to content. So I am, but I'm going to start with the first slide that they opened up and it says on slide one we're supposed to give the common name of our animal and mine is the crested black macaw. And if you think that's too big, which I do think that's too big, then you would come up here and you can change your size. And then we're also supposed to put on the first slide our names and their red list status. And their population trend, my animal is decreasing. Then you're also supposed to put other things on your slide one. So you just look at your graphic organizer and you can add. If you want to put in a new text box, you would just go to insert text box and then you draw it and you start typing and it will get bigger. So we're also supposed to have at our classification levels. And as you type, you can make the box bigger and change your size of font. So that's how you would work on slide one. Then to go to slide two, I would come back here to a new slide. And on slide two, I'm supposed to have my animal facts. And I would choose my two content. And I would name it animal facts. And then in here, I would start to uh, add my description of my animal this is how much my animal weighs and how tall it is now the website gave me the 10 kilo kilograms and I converted it over to 22 pounds because I really don't know what that means I don't I can't picture that size so you can just simply go to Google and convert your information so we don't even need to add that in our presentation because here in America we go by pounds feet and inches instead of the way it's on our website You want to make your PowerPoint visually attractive, so it's nice to add some pictures onto your slides. So from this box, I can come right up here, say insert picture, 
and I want to find my black macaw and I'll insert him and there he is what a handsome fellow now I notice that my words here are too small by the way uh, people in the back row of the presentation would not be able to read these words so I need to come back in here and make these much bigger and in addition to uh, adding pictures you can also be clever and use the clip art that's in PowerPoint. Clip art doesn't need to be um, cited. So if there's something that you would like to just add into your PowerPoint as a picture that you could find in clip art, you can search around for different things there. So my black macaws live in a jungle area, so I would just look around here and see if I could find a picture of a jungle area that I could use. That's pretty there. That's like a pretty picture. So then I could just add that in to another slide if that would be like his habitat or something like that. And then you just keep moving on to your next slide go to your home tab choose another slide and then look at your graphic organizer and just start to add whatever you needed for slide three so that's the basics for creating a powerpoint and then to save your powerpoint we want you to go to file save as and we would like you to save it by your core number so if you're in core three you would type the number three space and then your name and that way when it, your teacher goes to open it up for presentations it will be easy for him or her to find it then the last thing I'm going to do is show you a student PowerPoint that was done very well this is a student's PowerPoint that was done very well for the project so we'll just go through the slides so you can see that Chloe has nice colors she has nice size of words so people can read it. She chose good pictures from archive. Notice she had a strange word of, that described her fish. It has barbells so she went into the dictionary and found out what barbells means because she knew that the audience wouldn't know what it was. Notice she went into Google and she converted 16 inches it had said 40 centimeters and she went in and she converted it to 16 inches so we know what that means. she has everything in a bulleted style she also did the same thing for Celsius she converted Celsius over into Fahrenheit because we understand that better in America to say Fahrenheit she put in a clip art of the area where um, the animal lives and she also has a picture from archive here again nice big words bulleted style nice picture nice title here she went to clip art and because uh, fishermen poach her animal and that's why it's endangered she just went into clip art and she found this cute clip art of a fisherman and that does very nicely for that slide also once again good color good picture good size and then she added her work cited to the end and we'll be learning how to do that later how to put your information into noodle tools and then convert it over into your PowerPoint and then lastly now when you finish PowerPoint just a quick reminder of how to get it into your teachers folder so you want to be out of PowerPoint you want to come to your documents and open it up you want to find your PowerPoint that you were working on. Mrs. Miller has so many here. I'll just choose one that I had done. Then you need to find your teacher's folder. So you go to computer, department folders, 
find your class, find your teacher, make sure you can see hand in, and then just take your PowerPoint and drag it into the teacher's hand in folder. If you're a worry wart like I am and you're not sure it went in, do it a second time. If it's already in there, it'll come up and tell you that. See, it tells me. I've already got it in here, so I can cancel it. That's it. Good luck making your PowerPoint and hope you give a nice presentation.